Hi, this is Clancy with Scientific 710. Today I'm going to show you how to load columns with our Iron Fist hydraulic column packer unpacker. And today we have a 32 inch column by a 6 inch diameter that we're going to be loading. I'm going to show you how much material we can get in there by hand. I'm not going to go crazy on packing it. But then I'll show you how much more material we can get in there uh, using a hopper column and doing it all in one easy step. So I also have three different clamps here, two different styles. We have a hinge, hinge clamp and then we have the standard bolted clamps. Uh, with this system you can use either clamps. Uh, we like to use the hinge clamps just because they're faster. So I'll be showing you both of those. So this is our vertical stand. It sits on a tripod and it'll sit level on any surface. Not necessarily level, but it won't rock back and forth because it's a tripod. So this is our bolted clamp. And as you already know, these are kind of time consuming. But for this video, we'll go ahead and use one. And then the other two we'll use, we'll just use the hinge clamps. Now, you don't need to use any gaskets with this. Since we're not trapping any gas, there's not going to be any positive pressure. So, really, we're just using the clamps for their strength to hold the columns together. We don't need to create an airtight seal or anything like that. So, I'm just going to clamp those down finger tight. And then what I want to do... Just to give you an idea of the weight of the material here, I'm just going to tear this whole thing so we have an idea of how much material we're going to be loading into it. So let's get started loading material. This material is not real high quality. So our weights are going to be a little light compared to what you might see with your material. This is just last year's outdoor. There's not a whole lot of resin, so it's not very dense. Now I'm just going to kind of lightly pack this down. It doesn't take much, but just a little bit of Packing that down will make a big difference on how much material you're going to get in there. When you pack it down, you want to just do it as evenly as you can. Alright, so that's not super tight, but it'll give us a rough idea anyway. So we've got six pounds in there. This is the six by 32 inch column, as I said. Okay, so now this would be what you would normally have. Now with our iron fist system, we recommend about 50% more material. So this is what we call a hopper column. It's basically, it's just your column length, same diameter of course, but it's your length divided by two. So this is a 16 inch by six inch column and we're going to use a hinged clamp on this one just because they're nice and fast and I'm just going to tighten it down all the way it's usually just about finger tight holds it on there real good and now I'm going to add some more material So we're pretty much at the top, I'm not too concerned about packing it down real tight or anything. We're going to let the hydraulic cylinder do all the work for us. So this is the 32 inch stroke and it's about 45 pounds, which isn't too bad but it might be for some people. 
So we do have a vertical rack that I'll show you in another video that will actually hold this for us and we can use a, a hand crank and it'll take it up and down. So this whole thing can be suspended or you can use it on a rack system or whatever, but all that will come in, in future videos. So we're going to grab this, put it up here. Just kind of center it on there. Put your other clamp on here. Got to twist these quite a bit because they were all set up for using gaskets. All right, so that's on. Everything's good to go. Got all my clamps on. We're totally full to the top of the material. So we're going to push this down, and what we're going to do, we have a, a line here that's showing me where 16 inches is. So when the magnetic blue ball at the top comes down, then we'll know that we're halfway, so we're right at the top of the column that we're going to extract. So what I'm going to do is go a little bit further than that, just to create some headspace, because this material is really light and fluffy and loose. So what it's going to want to do over time, over the course of the next half hour, hour, it's going to want to just kind of push up just a little bit. So I want to get this down about an inch or so, to, just to give me a little head space to allow for that expansion. Um, if you were going to extract it immediately, you wouldn't need to do that. So here we go. This is the remote, of course. I'm just going to turn this on, and I'm going to watch my little proximity indicators so I know where I'm going. So if you can't see this in the video, I'm just going to show you kind of the speed. I already went down a few inches. I'm going to just keep my eye on the pressure too a little bit. It's, I know it's not going to go to its maximum. Its max is 4,000 PSI. We won't even come anywhere. in there so not worried about that our scale is still teared so let's see what we got here so now we've got eight and three quarter pound in there so that's an additional almost three pounds in there so we're close to that 50% mark I could have put more material in there and got it right at 50% if I wanted to uh, there's lots of different variations of different ways to run this if you want to get an exact weight of material in there. Uh, but that is that. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to unload this column. But that's it for loading. You can see how easy and quick it is. And if you have any questions about anything, just go to our website, scientific710.com. There's a contact us link at the top. That'll email us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can, usually a day or two. And um, check out our IG, it's just scientific710. 
And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.